Are you comfortable in playing healer or you play you prefer other roles? I like playing healer a lot. Um, my wife actually mains healing role. So when we play together, she always plays heal. Almost always. And so when I play on my main account, like now, I like playing heal a lot because it's a role I don't play as much. And my favorite healers are Ariel, Uther, Deckard. Rhaegar, I play it, Meta Slave, because, you know, high win rate uh, of the hero. I think this is a Q build game. Or do I go armor? No, it's a Q build game. Excellent choice. I like Uther, Ariel, and Deckard the most. Brightwing, I don't, I don't play her so well. Very it's wise. the female you play with during the week, your wife. Yes. She, the the female human specimen. That's that's it. I married her. Is the wife you play with the person you married? Yep. Would your wife be higher ranked if she didn't have to do a queue with you? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that. I am also my wife's male, yes. Strike with great I'm healed. Come forth, my servants. Defend your life. Huh. I like it. When is Triple Q with Logan? Watching my W. I would so hate for you to not be the first to harvest a knight. Uther's so mana hungry. It's not too bad, really. I used Q twice too many this game. This is why I have less than I should. Guys, be kind to the extraterrestrial chat member. <laughs> We're ruining first contact. We must abandon this fight. Let's attack this force. I am the hammer of justice. A seed has sprouted. Best not fight over it, hmm? <laughs> Let's attack this fort.
I wanted to W him and May. But they wouldn't get in position. Much better. Good. Hit me all you want. Okay. Savannah's just got the whole top for it. Gonna make sure she remains okay. <laughs> that was a really good, nice May uh, control there. I still don't want to take the objective. I think they can buy time too much. Fountain again, but it's not enough. I think he's fine. Oh, Lumin killed Avatar. Nice reset. Oh, wow, wow. Nice. Okay, now we can play objective. Actually, both Brightwing and Avatar are global, so even now we may not be able to take objective. Oh, I didn't get there on time. Got a hole for it from uh, Liming. Split push. My, my it's okay. Like I said, we should not take objective. <laughs> I tried to help May, but I knew it was a mistake. Returns. Everything we do this game is better when we don't try to force ourselves in one spot brawling with a brawling team. A you have no power here, Duratan. Actually, he does, Steer. On my way. Justice has come. Smell wet or bless champion? Movement speed and damage. I think that's legit. I have not used cleanse once yet. I wonder if I forgot that I have it, or if there was not a good opportunity. That's my bad. I just stood there and took damage. Randomly for no reason. Long time no see Uther, what do you think? He seems to fall behind, not even in meta, but overall. I think Uther is very good. I still think he's very good. He barely gets played in uh, CCL. Both Justin and I think that he's the kind of hero that just needs more synergy uh, from teams and is very good. Do we have, uh, we're gonna get a one and a half minion wave on our core. Not too bad, not too bad. Wait, did someone steal the heal? That was meant to go to Li Ming. Mm, nice. 
Rag, I guess, yeah. I think Uther's team reliant, yes. Mostly in understanding that you shouldn't... So, Uther is about as opposite from Brightwing and Stukov as can be. Uther... When you use D-Shield... I think D-Shield is a hard timing skill to use. Uh, and when you get the D-Shield, and when you know you're going to get the D-Shield, your behavior needs to be good. Brightwing constantly repairs small mistakes from your allies. With the sustained heals that she has, allies are constantly allowed to get randomly auto-attacked and drop in health for no penalty. But with Uther, it's the opposite. But Uther can enable greatness. The seed before your enemy dies. This is the end. This is the end for you. Much better. Please follow through. You will come well. Holy shock now costs like almost no mana. Uh, holy shock gives mana now, and uh, holy light costs almost no mana. Third objective is good. We could start one more. We should capture this mercenary camp. I am not handling justice. Another thing about Uther is you can get a lot out of low HP heroes because they're armored. I'm not playing his best build in my opinion. But I think it's appropriate for this one. Like it's the best now, but it's not generally the best per se. Generally the best is level one W in my opinion. Save a heal for him when he comes out. Some auto attacks to get my clams back. There we go. The towers have fallen and the sun I'm dawns healed. again. <sighs> yeah, all level 20s are really good for Uther, like literally every single one. I think Divine Hurricane is the weakest. Um, coming back after death is extremely powerful. Bulwark of Light is extremely powerful, and Divine Protection is extremely powerful as well. But I like Divine Protection the most when I go W at level 1, as you already have more duration, and then you make it even more, and it's more armor as well. For Bulwark of Light, I'll need to adjust my playstyle a bit, especially against level 20. After all... Hmm. After all, Dragon Arrow 20 from Hanzo and Buried Alive from Leoric are win conditions. Mm -hmm. Interesting decision. They are win conditions. And uh, as long as I just don't stand inside of it, and I de-shield all three of my allies they get caught, we should be in a, in a good spot. Yep. Uh, Arthas wanted to invade Silvermoon to access some kind of magic well, like maybe the Sunwell, and he destroyed the Sunwell, right? And 
Sylvanas was defending it. Sylvanas, isn't she the sister of Aleria from Warcraft 2? She was defending it, and then he came knocking with an army of the undead, and then he killed her, and for shits and giggles, he turned her into a banshee. Problem. That's why I can't get entombed. Okay, that was just me. Oh, uh, crap. So that's uh, my positioning error. Oh yeah, he went to the Sunwell to raise Kel'Thuzad as a lich. He threw out his father's ashes so that he could fit Kel'Thuzad in. Otherwise it would be like a weird Terranas hybrid. Terranas Kel'Thuzad. King Ter Terrazad. He's dead, he's dead. He's dead. I just need to stand further back. I can't get entombed. We lose if I get entombed, we win if I don't. Another seed is about to spawn. Oh, Kel Dad. <laughs> See Bruiser Camp. I could have saved Ming too after I died. Collect the seed and don't fret about the shamblers. They don't feel a thing. <sighs> Big waste. And I sidestep. Nice arrow. Arrow? What? Dragon arrow. The 13 Q makes uh, makes auto attacks heal. Silv knew exactly what he was doing. Went in by himself against everybody, got a kill. I can't believe he's making non-ironic use of astral presence. I mean, uh, pure power. Pretty good. nice Thank you. Uh, let's go good fight good fight show Lyric deaths just six good scouting to be honest
He doesn't want to finish? I think we go. As you say then, they do have Hanzo, Leo and Ava. I like playing safe, so I shouldn't give anyone a hard time for that. They have all three of their DPS alive, so I think he's probably right. We will keep dropping in health and our sustain. That was weird. Our sustain is weaker because we have Uther. He saw some maps on the map? Yeah, maybe. Shield. Ha! Huh, I like it. Yeah, now we end. That was a cool fight. Finally, we got a triple D shield. <laughs> I can't believe still that he made use of this uh, silver talent in a good way. Just as a siege still. And that he's willing to give up between 5 to 20% spell power for it. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> MVP. Any thoughts on the Stormgate reveal? Yes. Uh, let me put it in title. But first, let's quickly do another game. This was some good May play too, man. Jeez. He went for Blizzard, Cryo Freeze, Icing. So damage, slow, and armor and movement speed. Not focusing on blinds or anything like that. That was nice. 